everybody, it's me back on the channel again, Pig Lettuce and today I'm going to be going out into these woods behind me to see what we can find and hopefully it makes for an entertaining video but we shall see So here we are at the first point of interest of today's journey We are at Rough Castle Roman Fort which has a lot of these placards about, I will show a few of them in the video but this is basically the northmost point that the Roman Empire made it into Scotland at Antonin Wall as you can see the landscaping around here it's beautiful being out here it is very cold today but I will go up and show you some of the placards up at the fort to give you some more info but this place is a nice place so here we are at the top of the hill and this is the actual location of the fort and this shows you the buildings that all used to be here so here you can see this is where the commander's residence used to be and over here we can see here that this is where the barracks used to be Roman soldiers never take a holiday from training so there you go but the landscape here is beautiful you can go over, you can actually see on this one what the building looked like when it first got excavated of it's all overgrown now but this used to be the granary and as you can see that's what it used to look like that was in 1903 that this was excavated obviously you can pause it on any of these if you want to read them but I'm just quickly browsing over them because there's a few more locations that we're trying to find in this video this was the nerve center, the Prince of Bear. Don't know if that's announced correct, but this place is a nice place to come. Usually, a lot of tourists. I've not seen any segways today, usually, there's segway tours up here. But we are going to head along and see some more of the plaques before we leave. The so fort. Along there is where I, along there is where it just was, but now we're moved along to this area. And this is where the ancient Roman bathhouse used to be. This was excavated in 1904. And as you see, not much left of it. It would be interesting to get a metal detector up here, though, if you had one. Although I'm not sure on the rules of metal detector in here on this land. Here's the NX. So you can pause the video. I'm going to head over there where Antine's wall is and show you that and then we're going to head into Canada Wood to show you some more sites which is over there. I'm already very dirty and very cold but it's been a good day so far. So here we are at the next plaque which is beyond the wall and this shows the spike traps there that were excavated and these were the traps to prop people attacking from the north like the Celts and the Picts. These were to stop people attacking the wall and the fort and as you can see if you go down here all of these holes would have been filled with wooden spiked barbs making it really hard for anyone attacking the fort which is over that way so it would make it really hard to defence but this is just one of the defences the Romans had here but also they had the wall which is up here let's let me just go up and I will show you the wall just now this is Antonin's wall and I'm about to show you an R plaque which shows how much further north it is but as you can see it is quite a big structure this big valley right the way up here is Antonin's wall and it goes right across Scotland well right across central Scotland anyway but as you can see it's quite an impressive thing especially being made that long ago but I'll get on to the next one here we are at the inside the fort. This gives you an overview of what the fort once looked like. As you can see, there's quite a big structure here. I'm standing right there next to that walkway. And, that, and this shows you how much further north Antonin Wall was than Hadrian's Wall. Honestly, I would love to get a metal detector up here one day. So let me know if you think I should. But we are going to briskly move on to the next location. Now, obviously, you can't make a video about this area without mentioning the Falkirk Wheel, which was, when it was built, and I'm pretty sure it still is, 
the world's first rotating boat lift. It was created to link the Forth and Clyde and the Union Canal. The Forth and Clyde goes Falkirk to Glasgow, the Union goes Falkirk to Edinburgh, but they didn't join, so this was to join them. And I'm going to be heading up that tunnel and into the woods up the back, but I just thought I'd stop here because I don't think we could pass by it. It's tunnel time. So here we are, uh, stopping the woods, just in cycling. But it's amazing these wee tidbits of history that I'll uh, put around here. Charles Edward Stewart. We're about to come up to my favourite plaque, but I just thought I'd stop and show you that everywhere around here there is little things if you just go out and find them. And this is one of them. So here we are at my favourite part of the woods. This part is a nice little bench for a seat. And it's got this, and I love this. Now, I'm going to turn the camera, but it's got this. The World War II bomber plaque. This was a plane that was shot down here in the Second World War. It was coming back from bottom on Clyde Bank, and it was shot down, supposedly, in this field in World War II. That'd be an good place to get a metal detector out, see if you could find anything. But we're currently on the John Muir Way in Calendar Estate. I'm about to show you some other nice stuff. But aren't the woods beautiful this time of year? The colours, just the setting. I really like, the woods are probably my favourite place to come. It's just relaxing, see some animals, see some bits like that, history. Just where you are. This is the way to the plane, this is the way to the battle site. And we're going to go there soon, so. Thanks for watching so far. I've just seen this interesting sign when I was uh, cycling there. I've actually never seen a real badger. I would love to see a badger up here one day, but it's good to know that there's badgers out and about in these areas. But I've never seen one. But maybe one day I will. How lucky would it be to get one camera right now? Nothing. And here we are at the next location I decided to stop. This is the Battle of Falkirk Monument. This battle was fought around here, allegedly. I don't think it was, I think it was fought further down. But people say it was here. And it was fought in 1746. And it's just a nice little statue to commemorate the battle. But if we go over here, and very sure, make sure you don't feed the damn horses, obviously. Stop, don't feed the horses. And we go over here, you can see the this is from the battle and what apparently took place. Now you can pause it and read it, but this was in 1746. This wasn't the William Wallace battle, this was after that. And I've actually seen these stained glass windows in person in their local shopping centre, and they are quite impressive. But we're going to continue on our route down here and see what else we can find. I've seen this thing out in the distance, I've no idea what it is. But it looks strange. I don't know what it is at all. I just thought I'd come and see. I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me in the comments what this is. And here we are at my favourite place. What a view. Absolutely beautiful. But you've got an arse thing. I'm just more about the battle. It's, going to do, it's been vandalised along with the bin and stuff up here. What is this? It's Iron Man. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Fucking Iron Man out here. But, you know what a view that is, though. Outrageous. And here we are, almost back to where our journey began, actually. We're back to the Union Canal. And that way is back to the Falkirk Wheel. That boathouse and boats you see there is the Seagull Trust. It's a charity that takes old and underprivileged people out on boat rides to get them out of the house. It's quite a good charity. And this way is the way towards Edinburgh. And as you can see, it's a lovely canal. I was magnet fishing here and found some stuff. But I'm going to head this way and go to the Miley Tunnel, which is quite a cool place. And I think you will agree when you see it. I could only take it 
took some pictures because the lighting wasn't great but we made it through the melee and I think I'm going to have one more stop off before the end of the video well, I've had better ideas than trying to get through here on my bike but we're going to try and get the bike through and we'll be at our next location shortly if it's see number one mm. quick update we made it it's a beautiful wee bit down here as well it's a nice walkway it's meant to be for walking but got this lovely bun so, so I will update you though when I get to where I'm trying to get to I'm currently a bit lost and here we are at the crown jewel of Falkirk's historic places Calendar House it is an old historic house I don't know what year it was built I really should but what we can also see, see over there and over there is Aunt Mine's Wall which is where we started this journey and it all ties in even though we're at the opposite side of the town I'm just going to nip into the woods and show you one more thing before I go but isn't this beautiful and here we are at our last location this is the Calendar House Crypt where the family from Calendar House were put to rest when they died there's been lots of stories and urban legends about this locally but apparently it's haunted in these woods the body could be it's a scary place we used to come here drinking when we were teenagers and we've had a few scares but it's just a creepy place in the woods and I'll end the video there Remember to like, subscribe and tune in next week when I'll be visiting an abandoned building. Thank you for watching. Big lettuce. Over and out.